Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you enjoy these What's For Dinner videos and you'll consider hitting that red subscribe button. We're back with a week of homemade meals. Hope you enjoy this week's video. On Monday night, I got out my big soup pot, probably for the last time until this fall, and made what is probably a pantry meal for me. I made taco soup. The original recipe I got from a friend of mine many years ago used a can of stewed tomatoes and a can of rotel. I just used two rotel. I sauteed my ground beef. I added the tomatoes, a can of these ranch-style beans. The recipe calls for a can of niblets cord. I didn't have a can, so I just used some frozen, a packet of taco seasoning, and some ranch seasoning. I didn't quite have a whole package, so I used some of my homemade. Mix it all up, and I let it simmer on the stove till we were ready to eat. I uh, made taco soup. We're gonna put onions, sour cream, and cheese on it, and eat it with a big bag of Frito scoops. I'm excited. Uh, you should be. That's what's for dinner tonight. Delicious. It's Tuesday night. I had planned to grill or make the new Instant Pot recipe. My wrist does not feel like lifting the Instant Pot and messing with it. So I was going to get Tim to grill a pork chop for him and a piece of salmon for me. And if you notice, this is not pork chops nor salmon. He decided since the sun was shining, he would go to a different place and play golf today. So I took some chicken sausages. These are the ones from Sam's and roasted them in the oven on a sheet pan with what I had on hand, which was some potatoes, some onions, some broccoli and cauliflower, some radishes. And because I didn't really want sausages, I did me a piece of flounder with just salt, lemon pepper, some fresh lemon juice, and I mixed up some breadcrumbs with Parmesan cheese. So that is what we're having tonight. Wednesday, I stuck to the plan of making homemade chicken nuggets. I had some Crispix cereal in the pantry that I needed to use, so I tried that for the coating. Okay, so I guess my question for today is, am I the only person left on the planet, besides my mama, who taught me this, keeps these foil or pie plate, or in this case, this is a Mrs. Schubert's roll container. Am I the only one that keeps these things that were meant to be thrown away? I keep them exclusively just for breading items to oven fry, pan fry, or now air fryer fry. Leave me a comment and let me know. I'm going to take my chicken tenders and bread them and put them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes before I spray them and put them in my air fryer. The chicken tenders are out of the air fryer. I think I cooked them about 11 minutes at 360. We'll see how they taste with that crispy cereal mix. I did my last box of mac and cheese. It's an Annie's mac and cheese and a bag of green beans that I cooked. And then I add some toasted sesame and some liquid aminos and a dash of salt and a lot of pepper. And these are our sesame green beans. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Thursday is usually left overnight at our house, but I was sick. Tim somehow talked me into cooking us uh, noodle soup, or rumian as he calls it, instead of ramen noodles. These days I use some other noodles from the Chinese market, but we boil in chicken broth some rice, and then we add pretty much carbs, the rice, the noodles, some eggs, some cheese, and a lot of seasonings. There's nothing healthy about this meal. It's just something we both love and we always want when we're sick. Didn't have any fruit, any vegetables, just carbs. If you use the 15 cent bag of ramen noodles, you can add them directly to the pot, but these noodles I buy at the market have to be rinsed first before we add it to the rice, egg, and cheese mixture. So this is a cross between just a chicken noodle soup and an egg drop soup, and we love it. Thursday night is usually left overnight, but I have been sick all day and not feeling well. I didn't really want to cook, but Tim suggested that we make noodle soup. He likes his spicy, so he put some tawny sachets and some of that chili garlic sauce. Mine is just like a chicken noodle soup or egg drop soup, but with no chicken. It's just noodles, broth, and rice and some seasonings. Tim calls this an eggs. eggs. Tim calls this delicious. Ramen. Back throwback from his military days. So that's what we're having tonight. It's Friday night and we have at long last made the shrimp tostados with some little golf shrimp 
Tim's got a lot of tomato on his, got salsa, guacamole, and chips. And we wanted to make note that it's all Good Friday and it's also our subscriber Shamar. Shamar's birthday. Shamar 81. Happy birthday, Shamar. I hope you're feeling better and I hope you have a great day. Good Friday is a big deal for us as Christians. Hope y'all all having a wonderful Good Friday and we're looking forward to Sunday. That's what's for dinner tonight. Saturday we were out running errands. Tim asked if I'd like to stop at a different Mexican place and try out their food. We'd eaten here many years ago, but we tried. He got a fajita quesadilla and I got a quesadilla a Mexicano. We tried it. It was good. We brought home uh, some leftovers and that is going to wrap up this week's What's for Dinner. Thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Have a wonderful and truly blessed day, y'all, and happy Easter.